So under schedules and quantities, you're gonna find if you right click that, you've got a list of different schedules you can create. What I wanna to touch on first is the new sheet list. And this is what you're gonna to do to generate a list of all of the different sheets that are in your project. So let's go ahead and create a new sheet list. From here, you're gonna be able to choose a number of fields that are parameters assigned to sheets. And you're also gonna see that the drawing type field that we created before, the parameter that we made at the start to be able to organize these is also here. So we may as well add that to our schedule. What I usually just like to include is the sheet name and the sheet number. The drawing type we can use to quickly organize our sheets and I'll show you that in a moment. All of the other ones are pretty useless at the moment. For the drawing types, I'm just gonna bring that to the bottom, the sheet number to the top, and we're gonna click OK. And this is gonna generate a sheet list uh, schedule for us. What I usually like to do with this is add it to a new sheet, and that's gonna be kind of counterintuitive, I suppose, but we're gonna create a new sheet and we're gonna add this sheet list to that new sheet. So schedules are just like any other views. You can just drag and drop them onto a new sheet. And here you're gonna see our sheet list. It looks pretty dank at the moment. So what we can do is edit that in here. Now the drawing type, this is really just to see that you've assigned all of your sheets to you know, organize them. This stuff isn't going to be exported out or shown when it's published as a PDF. So um, you don't really need to show it in the schedule. I just like to turn it on and off if I wanna be able to quickly go through and see which drawings haven't been organized and I can quickly then draw in here. I can say this is one, two, three title. So we've created a new drawing type with zero title and that's gonna show up here as well. And we can rename that sheet to be title page. And we're gonna make this a triple zero. Now that sheet that we just created, that sheet list page is here and it's got the title page on it. Now, what I usually like to do is add a perspective or a render on that title sheet. And then I'll have a sheet list of all of the different sheets inside of that um, title page. And here you can see that I did actually show drawing type for this uh, project, um, but it really is not necessary because the drawing numbers should and do correlate to the different types of drawings they are. All of the plans are under the set 200. All of the uh, reflect the ceiling plans are under 300. All of the elevations under 400 and so forth. So you don't really need drawing time. But what you can do is add a nice perspective to it. And we will come back with that later. You can see here for this project, I've added the drawing list. I've changed the name from sheet list to drawing list, which I think works a lot better. I've removed the border from that sheet list. And I've then listed all of the different drawings with a nice perspective uh, shot of that exterior area that's being renovated and additioned to. So let's go ahead and create this drawing list or sheet schedule. You can see we've automatically generated one here, which is great. Every time we add a new sheet, it's gonna be added to this. You can see at the moment that A000 is at the bottom of the schedule, even though it should be at the top. So let's have a look and see why it's being sorted like that. If we open up that sheet list and we go to sorting slash grouping under the other tab in the properties, you'll see that it's not being sorted by anything. We want this to be sorted by sheet number and we want it to be going in ascending value. If we click OK, you'll see that now it's categorizing all of those sheets in order of the sheet. For the fields, I'm gonna go over to fields here and I'm gonna remove drawing type by using remove parameter there. In this project, I'm gonna open up this sheet list. I'm going to have a look at the filter. You can see that I've got two filters here. One, we're saying that the stage, which is actually the drawing type parameter that we've created in this other project, it does not equal triple zero A roof working or triple zero A working. These are two working sets. So any drawings or sheets that I don't want published or I don't want to show in this sheet list I'll put under this, the drawing type or the stage in this case as one of these two things. That way they don't show up in the sheet list and that's good. Under sorting and grouping, you can see that we've just sorted it by sheet number again in ascending values. And then under appearance, this is where you'll change how it looks. So you can see that we've got no grid lines, no outline. You can see that 
Um, we're not showing the title or headers and the text has been changed as well. Back in our sheet list on this project, if we look at the appearance under the appearance tab, you'll see that we are showing the grid lines, which we you know, don't need to. We don't need a blank row before the data. We don't need to show the title or headers and the title text, I'm gonna make this 2.5 millimeters and the body text also a 1.5 millimeter text. If we have a look at what this looks like, I think that's probably a bit too small um, and that's because the sheet size is different as well. But let's go ahead and make this perhaps something a lot bigger. Let's make this a even probably three millimeter. We'll double that up. There we go. Now we've got the sheet list there. We can bring this in a bit and we can adjust how this looks. We just have that on one row. The reason why I turned the title off is because if you have it on, it will show for both columns. But in this case, I had to turn it off and then create dummy text note of the drawing list and just have it above one column. If we go back to our other project, we can probably turn the header on because we've just got one column. So I'm gonna go back here, go to appearance and show the title, click OK. Here you can see it now says sheet. We need the title to be a bit bigger, maybe a six mil title, which is gonna be quite big. And now you can see it says sheet lit. If we wanna change that, you can't change it on the sheet you'll have to change it back in the schedule and we can change sheet list to maybe drawing list and that will change it schedule. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.